so I'm using my terrible laptop camera again because um, my phone broke. Very fun. So uh, here's another impromptu poem because the last one seemed to go over pretty well. And this one is called Religion. And it's probably my favorite poem I've ever written. It's an older one. I was raised under the watchful eye of God. He who promises heaven if you follow just 10 simple rules, generally alluding to the idea that you shouldn't be a dick. I've broken a good amount of them, but I still live by the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. I try my best to obey. I hope I have succeeded, but the love that I lack tells me nobody heeds it. I read the Bible and prompted maybe I should reread it. So I go to church in search of a friend, someone on whom I can finally depend. But the rows are so empty nowadays, with everyone out on their own. I see only the preacher, hands behind his back. And something inside me wants to go home. But the preacher tells me words I so desperately long to hear, plucking phrases from the holy book to recite into my ear, meets with me individually. I can't tell you how flattered it makes me feel. I write him letters of gratitude without realizing I'm writing my eulogy. He writes back letters of intent, intent, intent. His holiness, his love must be what I seek. With him, I'm stronger. Without him, I'm weak. Sunday school lessons alone at the chapel. We sit alone together and I show him my heart. He listens, he cares. He wants to know every part. So I whisper my secrets, the normal, the odd, alone with the preacher, my back turned to God, and something inside me longs to go home, but I don't. Days pass like batons, something in the air, these biblical stories I can never share. Were the words he spoke ever true? I'm begging, I'm wondering, I'm asking you, how did I believe him when his hands were still hidden? He never acted on holiness, but that's just religion. Days pass like batons, something in the air, these biblical stories I need to, must share, God! How something inside me longs to go home, to be weak enough to be comforted. No, nobody wants to know. No, it's never how I wanted the story to go. Picture Eve after her tale, giving fruit another chance, meeting serpents upon serpents and convincing herself they're different. But each time she returns, there's new hot shame on a body only meant to be contorted by God. I had whispered my secrets. The normal, the odd. And sometimes I wish, I wish I were holy. Years of Christianity run in my veins. I follow the golden rule, but my blood still remains with this rancor that I desperately try to forget. But my body stays frozen. My blood stays wet. And I can't get the preacher out of my head like his voice was the only Bible I ever read. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the poem, and I hope you have a great day slash night. It is nighttime over here, so we'll see when this gets posted. Bye!